There's not many things more frustrating than gaslighting. Wouldn't you agree with that? I mean, when a narcissist gaslights you, it is especially cunning and especially frustrating because it becomes the means of how they continually and forever will communicate in conversation when there's any conflict. In fact, a narcissistic person will even take moments where there is no conflict and gaslight you just to inject that conflict into the situation. So there is a dynamic of dramatic fuel and supply going their direction. Remember that the narcissist loves both the positive and the negative supply. So they just constantly need to be in this world where all the attention and energy is flowing towards them. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic relationships and transform your life after narcissistic people have been in it. And beyond gaslighting, there is denial. So one form of gaslighting that a narcissistic person will do is lying by denying. So there's a difference between a lie and a liar. When a person who is not toxic tells a lie, because you know what? Most people have told a lie in their life, okay? When a person who is not toxic tells a lie, they have a sense of knowing that they just told a lie. They have a sense of knowing that's probably not the right or best thing to do. They may feel remorse. They may feel all kinds of things that cause them to not tell another lie. You know what I mean? Like they may have this reaction where they see the cause and effect of lying to other people and realize that that doesn't help the situation and it actually hurts other people. And so they learn to not tell lies. Well, with a narcissist, it's an entirely different thing because a narcissist is a born liar. A narcissist is lying from the moment they wake up in the morning and they're lying in their sleep because the thing is, their whole life is a lie. They're hiding behind a mask. There is no true self present to other people. What they're doing is they're pretending to be something and projecting that out into the world so that everyone sees them in a certain way. They're setting the narrative, meaning that they are telling a story before it happens so that you believe that story when it actually happens. Does that make sense? They're telling you who they are which isn't actually who they are, so that when they act in certain ways, you say, but they're not like that. They're good people. They're amazing. They're smart. They're charming, right? So that is just a basic lie just from the get-go. But it goes beyond that. A narcissistic person will use denial as a form of communication to get away with things. That is lying, okay? And it is gaslighting. Are you following what I'm talking about here? Hit the thumbs up. So, okay, let's look at that denying. So, okay, let's look at the denying. So, you know, when a narcissist is spinning a story and through doing so, they're creating a narrative to suit their point of view or the point of view they want you to believe is true. Basically, when they're gaslighting you by twisting truths, they're denying a truth. They're not engaging and saying, no, it isn't, blah, blah, blah. They're not engaging in that sense. They're just twisting. And when they twist, they're denying something that's actually happened. Remember that this is a defense mechanism so that the narcissist can escape accountability. And stick with me because I'll have some information at the end about how to get help if you've been in these situations. They'll even pretend to hear what you didn't say. Like, I didn't hear you, you know? But for real, they will pretend and they will say the words, I didn't hear you. What are you talking about? I didn't hear you say that. What did you just say? So that you have to repeat yourself and repeat yourself. And when you, when you do repeat yourself, they'll be distracted doing something else, not paying any attention to you, or they'll start talking about something else and completely derail the conversation. And let's get to that because when they do derail the conversation, then when you try to bring it back to the point, they will deny the whole original conversation ever happened and say, you're the one and say, you're the one derailing them. They'll say, you're changing the subject. Why are you not wanting to talk about the subject? They will project their denial onto you. Narcissistic people will pretend that they forgot what you were talking about or that they forgot what the situation was. I don't know. I forgot. What do you mean? I forgot. I forgot. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I heard that one a lot. I'm sorry. I forgot. And some common phrases you might hear when a narcissist is denying things and lying through denying are... What are you talking about? You are crazy. You must have lost your mind. You know, you just keep bringing up the past. That's all you do. You bring up the past. Are you just going to dredge up the past all the time? 
I don't know what you're talking about. You're making things up. You're totally making this up. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know why you did that thing. I didn't do that thing. I don't know why you did it. It seems like this kind of conversation is always happening to you. It seems like this situation always happens to you. Have you ever thought maybe it's you? Have you ever thought you're the common denominator? You know, I think you really need professional help. These are the kind of phrases a narcissist will tell you when they're trying to escape accountability and denying everything. Have you had this experience? Let me know in the comments. Okay, you guys, let's talk about it and get some more awareness out there for people who maybe are just discovering what's going on in their life. So as promised, if you need help with anything, there is a group coaching that is available three times per week for a low cost. And we meet on Zoom. It's a fantastic, safe, great group of people. Things like this, this type of gaslighting, sometimes is useful to talk through. It's sometimes useful to have a group of people or have at least one person have the coach or a therapist to listen to you and reflect back to you the truth of your truth. You know what I mean? To help you remember your truth in the situation because gaslighting messes with your head. Okay, if you need information for that, check out the information in the main description of every video. Group coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, as well as free Facebook peer support. So check it out if you need it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.